in the car uploading yesterday's video. Good thing your car has got Wi-Fi. So there are two major lessons that I've learned this weekend. Number one, people are still good and will do good things. And number two, I need to really just stop trying to eat out. <laughs> Seriously. So the first thing, that people are good and they still do good things. Last night, after the Dolly concert, Kelly went to the restroom and ended up leaving her phone in the restroom. And about half an hour later, she realized that she lost her phone. And we spent the next hour and a half trying to locate her phone. And luckily, someone found it, turned it into lost and found, and we were able to get it back. So I'm very thankful that there are still people out there that will do good. And I hope that that person won a jackpot because they definitely deserved it for being awesome and nice and not stealing her phone. Um, the second thing comes from today, and that is uh, just really, I need to just not eat out or be very, very, very careful and very strict about what I eat. Um, today we ended up going out to eat uh, to a wing place called Pluckers. And I had been there like many times before, before my whole like food allergies. And today I just kind of made rash decisions and wasn't really like, I don't know, not just not being smart about it to be perfectly honest. And um, I ended up eating a few items that probably not 100% sure, but probably contain soy. And pr about, I would say about 20 minutes after I ate all those things, like after we left the restaurant, I started feeling so dizzy. And almost to the point of not being able to walk a straight line. Like I was very wobbly, I was very dizzy. I had to kind of like hold on to Kelly as I walked. And it's frustrating. And um, yeah, definitely a lesson learned. I need to freaking stop trying to eat things that I know I shouldn't be eating. Um, I still have quite a bit of residual dizziness and, um, and just overall not feeling that great. But I definitely wanted to talk about those two things that I learned this weekend because I felt like those were definitely life lessons for me that I will be taking with me from now on. So tonight I made my own pizza. I found a crust that I could have. I put a little bit of like a jalapeno jelly as a base, some herb goat cheese, prosciutto, and dried fig. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I'm very excited to eat it. I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I'm gonna eat this and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.